Halo semuanya, balik lagi sama gue Laksana Gimana kabar kalian semua? Mudah-mudahan kalian semua baik-baik aja Dan salam buat semua orang Indonesia dimanapun kalian berada Seperti yang kalian bisa lihat di belakang gue Gue lagi ada di museum pesawat uh, Tapi museum pesawat ini agak unik Karena biasanya museum pesawat itu banyak pesawatnya Dan juga pesawatnya biasanya udah nggak bisa terbang Tapi yang ini museumnya cuma punya satu pesawat Dan juga pesawatnya masih bisa terbang jadi nama pesawat di belakang gua ini adalah B29 Boeing B29. Pesawat ini adalah pesawat yang mungkin menjadi salah satu faktor kemerdekaan Indonesia karena jenis pesawat ini yang membawa bom nuklir dari Amerika ke Hiroshima dan Nagasaki. Jadi gua mau ajak kalian ke dalam untuk lihat pesawatnya seperti apa. Ayo kita langsung lihat aja seperti apa. Ini B29 pesawatnya. Terbang di atas Wichita. Good morning. Jadi ini pesawatnya. Memang banyak orang yang masih kerjain pesawatnya di sini. Oh ya. Yep, yep. How how are you? My name is Laksana. Bobby. Nice Bobby, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here's your original engine of it. Oh, okay. 18 solar radio. Nine in the front, nine in the back. Okay. Ha. Huh. Oh, wow. The exhaust came out the front on these engines. And okay. It would collect ring and it would get red hot and a lot of them would catch on fire. Okay. So they redesigned it for the exhaust going out the back. The back. This is the hybrid, yeah. Oh, okay. And we don't have any problem. That's an APU, accelerant Oh, this is unit, the APU. Two cylinder gasoline. They would use that to start the engines and uh, mm. lower the landing gear. Okay, I but see. We, we've got one in the airplane, but we don't use it. We use batteries. Every five years we have to send the props to San Antonio to be redone. But now it's got a few dents in the front of the engine nacelles. That's from hail and stuff. Oh, okay, but it's I see. 75 years old. It's got a pretty good excuse, right? <laughs> well, is the skin and the cowling, everything is original? Yes. Or? Yeah. Okay, I thought it's redone, it's rebuilt. Some of it, some of it. Some, under the wings it was curtain pretty bad. We put new aluminum under the wings. Most of the outside is original. Okay, yeah. I see. So it's this polish. That's, this is stainless steel here. Okay. That's why we can't knock the dents out of it. it that's oh, okay. Stainless steel. Okay. Stuff. Right, right. But it's got a few dents in the leading edge of the wing. Right. So they fall right. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the. Uh... We're going to go up there. We get them guys out. <laughs> okay. Come on, let's go up. And <laughs> Wow, this is really impressive. What you get right here? Yeah. This is the front Bombay. There was an aft Bombay back there. Oh, okay. Now, you say this one right here. There's another one. Or there's. Oh, okay. There's another one. Okay. There's the bombs. Oh, wow. But the Bombays weren't pressurized. Okay. But yep. the tunnel was. The crew, the could, tunnel. The crew could crawl through that when they were flying. Okay. We got a sample of that upstairs in the middle. You can crawl okay. through that one upstairs. Uh, okay, well. So that's to, to travel from the cockpit to, to the tail. To the tail. Yeah. Okay. It's all run by cables. See all the cables? Uh huh. Cables. Uh huh. So there's no fly by wire at that time. Kind of. <laughs> right. Uh, so type to drop the atomic bomb. Right. Right. So do you know like the how heavy was the bomb? Like Well this that's is a thousand pound. This is a five hundred and this is a two fifty. It would carry twenty thousand pounds of bomb. B twenty nine. So, so this is the uh, the capacity for the uh, twenty thousand pounds. Wow, See, wow. We don't have any so it's like a hot rod. It just Wow. Yeah. The yeah. atomic bomb for 10,000 pounds each. 10,000 pounds for the atomic bomb. Oh, this is a piece of history right here. It is, it really is. Wow. Let's go on out the cockpit. Put your left foot in first. 
grab that cable right there and you're in. Here's the tunnel that would be pressurized. Okay. That they could crawl through that while they were oh, flying. Oh wow. So from the cockpit right here. To the go. tail gunner back there. So what is, what's, well we. There was a gunner seat right there. Oh, he got that seat. big bubble and he would. Okay. And we cannot go there. No, no. Oh, okay. I see, and this is We got just... a model of that upstairs. You can crawl through the one oh, upstairs. Okay, I see. Navigator's table right there, and he had a window seat, but he would use this bubble uh -huh. to shoot the stars to navigate where they were going. I see. Uh oh. Radio operator set right there. Pilot on the left side. Uh huh. Co pilot on the right side. The bombardier in the very front. That's set in Gordon bomb site that was top secret during the war. Okay. That's his seat right there. The flight engineer sits right here facing backwards. Now he keep leaning out there to see if there's any gauges. Many. So you say it, that's it right there is no, that's, for the bomber? It folds up. That's where the bombardier set this. It ran the bomb site. Okay, so they kind of like navigate and to well, aim. He would fly the plane right before they dropped the bombs. He's got controls over there. Okay. So he would know the exact instant to turn the bombs loose and then they would turn it back over to the pilot. Okay, I see. But that was top secret during the war. I'm wondering, so we still have pilot to, to yes. fly this airplane, yeah. right? So, not very many, not very many. But so we'll, what type of rating do they have Well, to have? they, they, they got to have so many hours in the B-29. That, okay. That's the hard part. We've okay. got a lot of pilots that want to fly it, but they can't get they the hours. Can't. Yes. You know, it's just one guy can fly it at a time, you know. Yeah. But we've got we've got about four or five guys. That, four or five guys that to fly this airplane. Fly oh, wow. That's a pretty neat view out that window. Oh yeah, unless, definitely unless yes. Unless they were shooting at you. <laughs> That's Star Wars, you know, all the Star Wars stuff, they use that right there. Yeah, it will be nice to, to fly on this airplane. Well, we sell rides on it, you know. Yeah, that, yeah. That very front one's 1500. This one 1500 for that, that the, the very front? Right okay, very front. front. These here are 1200. 1200. And we got six in the back for 600. Six in the tail. In the, yeah, in the back, there's six. Okay. How much you saying? Six hundred. Six hundred dollars for that. Okay, so the most expensive was that one. Because you're sitting right okay. there. Okay. It's like, or you're looking right out to the ground when you take off, and it's pretty neat. That's a life raft door up there. If they crashed in the water, uh huh. They would open that door. Throw out oh, on. that one yeah. right there. Well, we huh. were taxiing here at Eisenhower one day, and some air, air traffic controller calls this Doc Seven Two. Looks like you got a ladder hanging out of the back of your aircraft. They had to call him and tell him that's our tail skid. That's, that's designed to hit before. Dude. Oh, okay. He'd, modern airplanes don't have them. And he'd never seen the tail skid. The silver part is fabric. And the silver part of that tail, that's fabric. Okay. Is there any reason why... Well, we... it was made it easier to control by cable than, than metal. Okay. Plus it's bullets would lighter. Go right, put, right, put, plus bullets would go right through it. Okay. And is that the original the original right, design yeah, is yeah, with fabric? fabric? Yes, yes. I had no idea a World War II bomber would have fabric, but it did. Oh, that's the, uh, for the, uh, the gunner? The tail gunner sits right there. That's his, that's his gun and everything. And his escape hatch is on this other side over here. Oh, and that's the machine gun. And I believe that's not a real machine gun no, anymore. It's a fake 50 caliber back there. But now that's his escape hatch. Oh, okay. But they said you couldn't escape. get out that with your parachute on. You'd have to get out and then put it on. Oh, because it's too small. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you do that, but I guess if it was on fire, you'd do something. We put some new skin under the wings. The wings, water and stuff got in them, you know, and it sat there and it corroded the aluminum. So we had, but most of the top, see, the water came off of. So the, the aluminum still all right. There was one wing spar that was kind of, it was corroded real bad. And it, it's up there on the display, you can see it. Okay, so you guys replaced and it. We had Boeing. Yeah. Built us a new one. Okay. Pretty. So of, Boeing also involved yeah. into this re yeah, restoration. It, yeah, it, they built it in 1944 in Wichita. Yep. Right. It's a Wichita airplane. And now it's it come back and, and, of course, we were restoring it across the street from over there. So it's like having an airplane parts store. We just run over. Hey, you guys got this guy, and they were real good about helping us out. But everybody kind of wanted to be a part of it. Shell yes. Oil gave us some oil, I think, and donated it. But uh, a lot of big companies want to be a part of it if they can so it's, it's a neat project you need to go upstairs we got all these get all these videos up there and that's okay. the one you want to watch it shows there that's docked in the desert when they it was on a china lake in a navy bombing range and they never did hit it and that's that's how we got it they went up there and drug it out of the desert I cut see. it up 
put it on semis and shipped it to Wichita to Boeing. And uh, I started in 2000 when it first came here. And okay. We restored it to fly. Ini kokpitnya. Kalau mau duduk di situ 1500 dolar terbang 30 menitan. Ini di mana B29 dibikin di pabrik Boeing di Wichita. Ini fotonya waktu dock ditemuin di China Lake, California. Ini proses restorasinya. What's going on down there? Jadi ada inspeksi, ada maintenance, ada juga untuk bersih-bersih di bawah. Nah, ini tunnel yang tadi dia bilang dari cockpit ke ke tail. Ayo kita cobain ya. Kita cobain merangkak di dalam. Oh, wah bakal susah nih. Ah. Nggak susah-susah amat sih. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, capek juga. Jadi bisa dilihat ini semua orang lagi masih maintenance. Jadi di museum ini mereka cuma buka dua hari dalam satu minggu. Sisanya mereka pergi ke air show. Atau kalau kalian kalau ada kalau ada orang yang mau terbang, tadi udah dijelasin sama sama bapaknya. Kalau mau terbang juga boleh bayar mahal juga. Nih kalau di depan di sini paling mahal, kedua paling mahal duduk di sini. Lalu ada yang boleh duduk di sini juga di, di belakang sini ada tempat duduk. Kalau duduk di belakang sini ada akses untuk ke tempatnya penembak di sana. Jadi segitu aja video kali ini. Jangan lupa like dan kasih komen di bawah untuk masukan gua untuk video selanjutnya. Jadi terima kasih udah nonton video ini sampai habis. See you in the next video.